Hello everybody, this is Goddess Designs from IMB. You can find me on IMB at Goddess Designs or on YouTube at Goddess Designs. Okay, so today we're going to go through submitting a product through the previewer. And today I'm going to submit some eyes. I've been waiting to submit for a while. Just haven't done it yet, so I'm going to open up my previewer you see that I hit derive from product and I have bloody eyes from IMBU open so I click OK I'm gonna maximize that and log in and if you have any questions you can always um, send me a message on IMBU at Goddess Designs or you can leave a comment on my YouTube page Okay, so what we're going to do first off is we want to go to the scene manager because we need to change everything, the background, her skin, what she's wearing. So I already have these tabs already open, so that would make it easier for the video and we can get through the video a little shorter. As you see, can see, I have my inventory page already open and that's www.imview.com slash catalog slash web underscore inventory dot php okay so I'm going to put my head on first let's copy that and you will always find the product ID when you're deriving at the bottom of the page if you do not see that at the bottom of the page that means you're not registered as a developer yet and you need to sign up to be a developer so let's copy all these so that we can change what she looks like and it makes it easier to do your icon later on and we'll go through that also. Some shoes. Copy that. are going to copy that. And paste again, add. And we need, she needs some eyebrows, so I love these eyebrows. Like add each time and it should be okay but it's this okay that's skin tone let's copy that the only thing I'm not going to put on her is eyes because that's what we are making add and here's our green room um, if you don't have a green room that has poses I did make one um, you can find it in my catalog and it does have 25 poses, so it makes it nice for making icons. Since you can't usually have poses in the previewer. And then I'm gonna close this one because I already derived off of it. So, as you can see, I'm going to go back over to my material tabs and you see where it says change texture? That's what we're going to be changing today. And if for any reason you're missing skin on your um, previewer, you can always hit skin composite, click it, apply changes, and that should fix the problem. And right now I'm going to push apply changes, make sure that everything changed. And sometimes it does take a few minutes. And as you can see, most of it changed. Oh, she needs some hair. Oops. <laughs> I did not give her any hair. I guess she's going to be a bald headed look on her hairstyles. Here's one. Under this 
two meters in? Probably. Yeah. And I think I put my <laughs> underneath the wrong tab. You s I will show you exactly where that's supposed to go. So I do that from time to time. Where's this Bloom product ID? Just click on it and then hit Control V. And then let's apply changes again. Make sure everything comes through. And there she goes. She has. And she looks like a decent Abby now. Okay, so we will go back over to our material tab. And right here where you see XRF, you don't want to mess with that. That is for people who are meshing. Um, and maybe later on in a different video we'll go over that. Um, texture animation parameters. That's only if, like, say you're doing a texture for a room or something and you want it to, like, the foliar to be animated. You just mess with it a little. Um, scrolling, cycling, and then cell width, offset, direction, and you just play with it. And then you always got to make sure you click on. And we might go through that. Um, at a different time. Okay, so I'm gonna pull my Photoshop back up. These are the eyes I'm going to submit. They are already texture I have already done, but I'm gonna save them, file, save as. Eyes, green. 